Temporary restorations are those restorations, which are inserted into the prepared cavity, only for a certain period of time till replaced by a permanent restoration. In indirect restorations, it serves as a substitute restoration while a permanent restoration is being fabricated in the laboratory. They can be also called intermediate or provisional restorations. According to the time period of their placement they can be divided into three categories, a short-term temporary restorations, placed for one to two weeks. B medium-term temporary restorations, placed for several weeks. C long-term temporary restorations, placed for six months. I objectives of temporary restorations, 1. Protection of the dentin pulp organ, temporary restorations will seal the cavity against food debris, saliva, and bacteria. If the cavity is left without a provisional restoration, pain will occur. Pain will be a response and not reflecting an inflammatory condition. However, long-term dentin exposure may lead to inflammatory response. 2. Sedation of the dentin pulp organ, if the cavity is left opened without a dressing, pain will occur. External stimuli, such as hot or cold food, will stimulate pain. Pain sensation can be explained on the basis of the hydrodynamic theory of pain sensation laid by Brandstrom in 1966, i.e. movement of the dentinal tubule contents will irritate the nerve endings, mechanoreceptors, which in turn cause pain. This type of pain is characterized as very brief, sharp type of pain. 3. Restoration of occlusion, provisional temporary restoration will restore the occlusion and will prevent the tooth from tilting, drifting, or over eruption, if left for a long period with temporary dressing. 4. Protection of the periodontium, this is especially true in class 2 cavities. Leaving the proximal surface without provisional temporary restoration will invite food impaction to occur with its complications on the periodontium. 5. Putting the tooth into function, this is very important, as concentration of occlusal stresses will be distributed on both sides otherwise only one side will be functioning and the other side will be non-functioning. 6. Protecting the tooth from fracture, Putting a provisional restoration into the cavity will protect the tooth against fracture under the components of forces. Two requirements of an ideal temporary restoration, goals manipulation goals, ease of use. Ease of placement, shaping and removal. Ease of repair. Efficient reaction with no or little exothermic heat. Fast setting. Physiologic goals protection of both hard and soft tissues. Therapeutic actions, sedative, anticorogenic potential, bactericidal effect. Patient comfort. As functional as possible to facilitate chewing. Materials performance goals, good fracture and wear resistance, high strength. Good biocompatibility, no sensitivity or toxicity reactions. Good aesthetics, good color matching and stain resistance. No or little solubility and disintegration. Radio opaque. Post temporization goals no interference with the setting reaction of the permanent restoration. Three types and indications of temporary restorations 1. Conventional zinc oxide and eugenol. Zinc oxide and eugenol paste is considered as an obtundent, disinfectant, and is the best sealer of the cavity against saliva and bacteria. Eugenol-containing dressings have significant antimicrobial activity due to their slow release of zinc and eugenol. Furthermore eugenol has been shown to depress the irritability of the nerve endings, so it is used as an obtundent. Conventional zinc oxide eugenol temporary restorations is usually used in posterior teeth prepared for amalgam restorations. 2. Modified zinc oxide and eugenol, it consists of conventional zinc oxide powder reinforced with several additives, such as silica and alumina fillers or ethoxybenzoic acid to increase the strength and decrease the setting time. 
it is indicated in either extensive cavities or for long-term temporization. 3. Non-eugenol temporary restorations, they are presented as single paste system in collapsible tubes or well seal jars to avoid their premature setting and to extend their shelf life. Moisture contamination will lead to premature setting of ready-made temporary fillings. The popularity of ready-made temporary restorations comes from, simplicity of application. No eugenol residues are left which may interfere with setting reaction of resin restorations and bonding of direct aesthetic restorations. Thus, they are highly recommended in preparations in anterior teeth. 5. Temporary restorations for indirect restoration as, inlay slash onlay slash overlay, preparation, types, a direct temporary resin restorations, either chemically cured or photo cured commercial preparations are used. They are characterized by enough strength, hardness, and insolubility in oral fluids. They are used for temporary restorations of indirect restore preparations and temporary crowns. They are cemented using temporary cement. Technique 1. Prior to tooth preparation, a silicon impression is taken using a sectional tray to after tooth preparation equal parts of base and catalyst from the chemically cured resin are mixed in a mixing pad then packed into the impression of the specified tooth 3 the silicon impression is reinserted in the patient's mouth and left till setting of the resin takes place for after removal of the impression the excess resin is trimmed and the temporary inlay is finished using stone. 5. The temporary inlay is then cemented using temporary cement. 4 factors affecting the selection of the temporary restorations, 1. Type of the final restoration, for metallic restorations, zinc oxide and eugenol, modified zinc oxide and eugenol. For non-metallic restorations, it may be wise to use non-eugenol dressing as the residual eugenol in the dentinal tubules may hinder the polymerization of the resinous materials and it will affect the adhesion to the tooth structure. 1. Vitality of the tooth, root canal treated teeth need an intensive protective dressing, to prevent their fracture under masticatory load. This might be attributed to the dehydration of the tooth structure and its weakening due to endodontic cavity preparation in addition to the previous destruction or caries. It is recommended to use temporary full coverage in between visits, if the treatment planning is considering full coverage. 3. Size of the cavity, the smaller the size of the cavity, the less will be the need for more than zinc oxide and eugenol dressing. In larger sized cavities we used reinforced zoe and temporary resin restorations. 4. Length of time before permanent restorations, if less than 2 weeks, zoe or soft type of ready-made temporary fillings could be used. If more than 2 weeks, reinforced zoe, medium and hard type of ready-made temporary filling and temporary resin restorations are used.